Hey, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you got the latest update, but this is still my time slot. Why didn't you go hang out in the cemetery and wait for your encore showing? <laughs> Every bit the wise mouth I expected you to be, Birdman. You know, I've always looked forward to the night that Mr. Molto and Octavian Hollow would haunt the same frame in the eerie late night. But it saddens me that this will be the first and only time such an event is to occur. Why is that, Bona Man? You have an appointment at a skin replacement clinic? <laughs> oh, did you promise my buddy Slash that you'd bury yourself in the backyard so he can dig you up like a good doggy? <laughs> <laughs> Such a pity you couldn't find better material for your final curtain call. It would have been nice for you to be able to be remembered as funny. Okay, Skullhead. Enough of the Stanley dialogue. What's all this talk about final curtain and... And then last call, if you think you're the first horror host to take a shot at me, then try plugging some eyes in those empty sockets. This ain't about horror hosting, Octavian. I do that pretty much the same reason that you do, to pass the time, which is something that you're out of. My regular night job is that of a Grim Reaper. You do know what that is, don't you, Mr. Hollow? Uh, the guy that sweeps up the popcorn and soda grim and the sticky candy wrappers off the cinema floor after one of your brilliantly massacred public domain film previews? I said Reaper, not Sweeper. Oh, why do I bother? Look, you've been on borrowed time ever since that witch attempted to link your spirit to a mortal host. So don't bother asking if I know who she is. That spell expires tonight, and so do you. Oh. So what you're telling me is that you're my goober uber driver to the netherworld when the clock chimes 12. <laughs> Don't expect me to give you a favorable review. I won't need your approval, bird brain. By being able to be the one to bring in the Octavian Hollow before the Halloween midnight hour, I will be rewarded grandly for your bounty. Cool. There's just one very tiny little small obstacle that's going to get in the way of you accomplishing that goal right now. And pray tell, what is that? The tiny and small bone that's poking out from your robe. <laughs> Maybe you should try Velcro instead of a piece of robe. <laughs> Later, Bummer Man. <sighs> Later it shall be. <laughs>